Hello, my name's Adrian Lovis. I'm the unit leader of the History and Theory Unit. Welcome to this first introductory session on the History and Theory essay. We're going to talk you through the essay in relation to the learning outcomes in preparation for, for how you go about researching and putting it together. With me today are... Uh, I'm Dr Mary Lou Barrett. I'm the lead tutor for Year One on the Fine Art degree and I work with Adrian on the History and Theory unit, delivering some of the lectures and on the assessment part of the unit as well. I'm Steve Dixon-Smith. I'm a learning development tutor um, and I'm not the subject specialist, so I'll, I'll, I'll be um, looking at this, asking, asking questions that will help me make sense, really, of, of how the assessment works in relation to the essay uh, that we've got in front of us. And uh, my name's Ian Badger. I'm the liaison librarian at Canterbury. I'm here primarily to talk about the sources that the student has used in this essay and how they've referenced um, text and images in their essay. OK, so between us, we're going to, first of all, in this session, talk about what are the learning outcomes and briefly introduce those in relation to what we believe are some good values about what makes a good essay. Um, and those are going to be various and different between us. Um, and we're also going to talk a little bit about the question that this student was responding to before we get on to looking at the essay itself. OK, firstly, we want to introduce the learning outcomes. Learning outcomes appear on all your units, and in this case, as in all other cases, they're on the unit descriptor. This is the unit descriptor from last year for the same unit that you're taking now, History and Theory. I'm just going to scroll down from here to find the learning outcomes. Here we are. So you'll see that there are five learning outcomes. They work around your understanding, first of all, of some of the theoretical, critical and historical ideas um, within what we're going to look at. Uh, these are broadly captured in the, the choice of themes. So we're, we're covering themes each year in the way that the, the lectures are programmed together. Um, so that's, that's a starting point, really. It doesn't cover everything, but but so this understanding of key approaches and, mo and models in contemporary art practice is informed by criticism, theory and history. Secondly, is an understanding of art practice as a process of imaginative and intellectual inquiry. This might be understood a little bit more as from the point of view of an artist, from the point of view of what an artist is doing and what their intentions are and what the work does um, as a piece of art. So is it, is it fair to say, Adrian, that there's a connection, that you see a connection between these things then, that, that, that there are people, that there are these ideas and writings about art and then there's the, and, and the practice itself and, and we're looking at connections between the two in this essay? Yeah, yeah, I, I think, I mean... Art doesn't exist outside of the cultural world that, it, that it's situated in. So it's always going to be bouncing against current ideas, current thinking, and older ideas and older thinking, and reacting to those. Okay. So, so we're looking at the art, the artist, and those, those ideas that are more broadly around in culture. Yeah. OK, so one is more broadly around in culture and, and two is more focused on the, the actual work of artists. Yes. Yeah, great. Thanks. OK. The third learning outcome is around research. Um, it's worded effective and appropriate use of a range of research methodologies. Uh, that might be a little bit misleading. We'll come on to talk about this. But uh, more or less, it's about 
how you research, how you find find out what you need to, to know to write the essay, but then how you apply it, how you make it useful to support your essay and to push your ideas forward. Um, that leads us on to the fourth learning outcome, skills in analysis and criticism and their communication in verbal and textual forms. Um, for this purpose, we're principally talking about textual terms, we're principally talking about how, how you articulate your analysis of ideas in writing the essay. Um, but it's not strictly speaking the, the use of grammar, etc., which we'll come on to in a moment. Uh, it's more about how you process and analyse ideas um, and reflect on what you're reading. So it's not, not simply that you're taking information, but you're responding to it and analysing it. So, so you're more interested in the thinking that goes into the essay than the form that that thinking takes? Um, no, I would, I, I, I'd say it's... The, the two can't happen in isolation from one another. So, so in a sense, we will talk about LO4 and LO5 together. Um, so, so LO5 says an ability to structure and present academic texts and argument. So, so the way in which you present your argument, the way in which you use the written word will be important to how you articulate what you're thinking, what your responses are to what you're reading and to what you're looking at. Yeah, and, that's, and, and the, the, you're, you're testing the ways that people are able to present their thinking, or, or the thinking that is presented. Yes, yeah. yes. So when we come on to discuss this, I, I think we we will perhaps spend some time thinking about how um, how not to get too hung up about um, whether you're a, a great writer in technical terms. Uh, and we know, for instance, that within our cohort of fine art students, Many of you will, will have issues, um, including dyslexia, that you might find um, inhibiting when it comes to, to the written word. Uh, and we want you to feel comfortable and confident that, that, those, that the, the written aspect of this isn't being tested in itself. What we're looking at is how you're thinking, how you're developing ideas and responding to ideas you're encountering in your research. Okay. Just before we move on to the main chapters of this video, just want to introduce the idea of the essay in terms of an essay question and say a little bit about why we've chosen the particular essay we're going to discuss. As an essay question, this essay responded to the question discuss a single artwork in relation to one of the key themes from the series. So, there's an idea of an artwork and there's an idea of a key theme. Your questions will be more specific than this, but nevertheless, it's likely that you'll be looking at an idea or a set of ideas and an artwork or an artist or set of artworks. So the essay we've chosen to discuss is an essay which we consider to be a strong, good essay. The marks were in the 60s. So it's a solid essay. It's an essay which meets the criteria and meets them well. Um, we think that in terms of what we can discuss about it, it's done its job very well as an essay. But we're very aware that there are other kinds of essays. This isn't the only sort of essay. Um, and there are other ways of writing. This isn't the only way of writing. Some essays might get um, a different approach and might, might take a, a more... Uh, adventurous, risk-taking approach in the, the way that they're set out. 
we want you to be excited by what you're researching. We want you to be getting into the subject matter and finding new things exciting and expressing that. So, so just being solid, just meeting the learning outcomes isn't what we're, we're looking for in, in itself. We're looking at you getting a rich experience from the research you're undertaking and, and for it moving you. What do you think, Marilyn? I absolutely agree, Adrian. I think that's one of the key things we're looking for with the whole research task that's part mm -hmm. of this unit. It's an opportunity for students to really start to get their teeth into something that excites them, something that might be quite new to them, quite challenging mm, to them. Yeah. And, and that's a really important part of this task. Yeah. And, and to start seeing your own, your own place in the world of contemporary art. Um, and although we're not asking you to write about your artwork, you're in a way reflecting on where your values are, what you think are important issues in art making. 